Harvard Financial Wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your hosts, Don Getling and Gino Franti. You know, I'm bringing it up because I talked about experience and how key that is. <laughs> so I always joke around in my office. We're very proactive like you. That's why we love working together is because we're both very proactive. We, we think ahead and take action ahead to avoid as many problems as possible. But our industry is very dynamic and there's going to yes. be 20 to 25 percent problems that appear, whether it's regarding the appraisal, the property, the buyer, the seller, the negotiation, the escrow, the monies, the assets. There's so many things that can divert and, and cause problems. But when you're experienced and you have a lot of experience with dealing with situations and being a problem solver like you are, Cindy, is that how you handle them. I right. know our team is very good and I train all my loan officers here to be very calm so that you can think clearly and think ahead and help them through the process unemotionally. Don't get involved in the emotions because that just makes it very it's hard to make good decisions when you're emotional, right? Absolutely. My wife tells me that all the time. <laughs> you should listen to your wife. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> she tells me the same thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's so important to be very calm through the whole process and you know, you can see more clearly like you're mm -hmm. like you're mentioning um, you know, with the transactions, no transaction is the same. No individual is the same. So anytime you encounter something, you have to look at all aspects of the equation and figure out how to get it resolved. And that's what we do in our office for our clients all the time. Sometimes they don't even realize that we resolved a problem right, that was right. existing. And it's like, we want to, you know, we handle our clients with delicate gloves and make sure that we make the process as smooth as, pro as possible for them. All right. So you can speak <laughs> as well as anyone about the emotional pieces that are involved with purchasing a home because... As I've said, and Cindy has said, is now is a great time to buy. It's an amazing it time to buy because prices are still good, but they're only going to go up. Interest rates are amazing, still near you know thirty year lows, and they're going to go up eventually. So now is a great time to buy. You're proof in the pudding. You just I went am. through your own purchase transaction as well. I did. I did just go through my whole process myself. Um, we waited a little bit and I apologize. I shut off my phone, but I forgot to shut off my handy watch. That I just love. <laughs> she, she's like, get smart. She's got this little get smart, smart, smart watch. Hey, everything <laughs> that puts me ahead of anybody else and making sure I have all my information handy. But yes, we just purchased a property and I feel like that one commercial that used to be on TV, uh, where you have, um, the, I'm not just the president, but uh, I'm a customer. Right, you know, right. it's usually hair for men. But, exactly. <laughs> but I, I I'm not just it. a realtor. I am a client. As I said, I should ask my husband for a review on Zillow uh, because I acted as, as his agent and I secured us a home uh, that we had been admiring for several years. And uh, we closed on it in December. Yay. So, and we ran into some of our own personal challenges of the purchase, uh, specifically that I did my job so well for uh, our, our uh, basically our landlord, because we too were renters uh, for a couple years due to having to do a short sell about five years ago. So we were renters and I sold our landlord's property and had to move out of our house before we closed on our purchase. So I basically, in all sense and purposes, I was homeless for six weeks. I did a lot of dog sitting, house sitting, <laughs> uh, kid sitting, and couch surfing for a five-week time period. And just shipped your husband out on, I, on tour. <laughs> yes, my husband uh, is a national touring comedian, so I called his manager and I said, Mark needs to be on the road. Mainly he didn't think that was funny, by the way. No, he did not <laughs> think that was funny. But he, he slept in luxury. He had the ability to sleep in hotels and, and uh, visit family back east in, in Ohio and Pennsylvania, where I had to stay in California and uh, continue to run my business. So I know what it's like for those buyers that are busy business people making a move 
and having the challenge of, well, where will I live for two weeks? What will I do? How will I manage? Where will my family be? Where will my dog be? I, I have a family pet, for four-legged uh, golden retriever, who I had to worry about, like, oh, am I going to be living in my car with my dog? <laughs> so <laughs> Just I, get a sign for your car, Lazinski yeah. and, you know, <laughs> yes, yes, the exactly. Lazinski team in your car. So, so we managed through, thanks to family and friends. I had some great friends that were like, just stay at our house. And we had a fabulous moving company that assisted us with storing our our uh, possessions uh, during that? that time. Throw Cam- a plug. Camelot Moving and Storage. Right. And uh, they did a fabulous job for our move and storing my, my items until we were able to move them into the home. So uh, the process was, uh, was quite interesting being on the you know, opposite side of things. And I was very grateful that you had done our loan and that ran very smoothly for us. And, um, you know, we're, we're settled in. We've been in the house now for three weeks and we're settled in and we are just ecstatic. We're happy to be able to once again paint our bedrooms ourselves. Oh, and the pride and of home ownership. Yes, yes. Do we, we had our floors epoxied. We could not wait to do that. We made sure we did the epoxy floor before we moved in. And uh, so we can really utilize our garage to the fullest. And just, you know, the, the excitement of owning and being able to do whatever you want to do to your home versus renting. Okay, this is why I wanted you to tell the story, because you can hear in Cindy's voice, hopefully you're paying attention again, Cindy Lazinski, uh, with uh, Lazinski and Associates team of John Hart Real Estate, and you can hear the emotions and the excitement of her, her own experience buying a home, because Gino's and my yes. goal for the last few years is to get as many of you off the fence as possible into a home, because we've never handed, I guarantee you haven't either, handed the keys to somebody to a new home and went, I wish I didn't do that. They're always excited, including yes. you. I remember I was with you the next day, oh, how yes. excited you were about buying a home. So we, we always make the statement that if you're always paying a mortgage, whether it's yours or not, make it yours. And you need to work with the right trained professionals. And that includes, of course, Gino and I at Skyline Home Loans or any of our Absolutely. Skyline Home Loan teams. I mean, we got it, the best team here right off Attorney Road. And Cindy Lazinski would be an incredible real estate uh, asset Thank for you. And so how, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is give me a call or a text at 661-510-5516. I really look forward to your call and the opportunity to help you. How about give your me website a call. real quick? Website is uh, cindylazinski.com, C-Y-N-D-I. L-E-S-I-N-S-K-I dot com or just look me up on Zillow too. You, you can find me really easily on Zillow. One of the best. Cindy Lazinski, thank you for joining us. What a thank great co-host you. today. Thank, thank you. you for allowing me to co-host with you today. It was right. fabulous. Watch out, Gino. Gino. Gino's going to find a new job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks again for joining us every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. The Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. You can find out more at donandgino.com. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great Saturday and be good humans.